Welcome to the seventh lesson on solving polynomial and rational inequalities. In this lesson, we will follow the process for solving rational inequalities. Let's review our steps really quick. Step number one is to move everything on the left and set the right equal to zero. Step number two is to combine the fractions on the left into one fraction and we have to factor the numerator and the denominator but to combine the fractions we need to have least common denominator so that's going to take a little while. Step number three is to create the sign table for the expression on the left. The expression on the left will be a fraction so we have to keep in mind that values of the variable that make the denominator equal to zero must be excluded from the possible solutions since they produce undefined values. And finally, from the sign table, we can give our answer in the desired form, graph or interval notation. For example, given the inequality, 1 over x plus 1 less than or equal to 2 over x plus 4, we will start by subtracting the fraction, neg the fraction 2 over x plus 4. So I will have 1 over x plus 1 minus 2 over x plus 4 less than or equal to 0. For the next step we have to combine the two fractions on the left into 1. To subtract fractions we need the least common denominator which in our case is x plus 1 times x plus 4. To convert the first fraction into a fraction with denominator x plus 1 times x plus 4, we have to multiply the, de the denominator by x plus 4 and the numerator by x plus 4. To convert the, sec the second fraction into a fraction with the least common denominator, we must multiply the denominator by x plus 1 and the numerator by x plus 1. The combined fraction has denominator the least common denominator and numerator 1 times x plus 4 minus 2 times x plus 1. Our inequality continues to be the expression on the left less than or equal to 0. Our next step is to do the math in the numerator. Distribute x plus 4 minus 2x minus 2. The denominator stays as is, x plus 1 times x plus 4, less than or equal to 0. And combine like terms in the numerator to get negative x plus 2 over x plus 1 times x plus 4, less than or equal to 0. Step number 2 is done. For step number 3, I need to create the sign table for the expression on the left. This has three factors, so I'm going to have three rows, negative x plus 2, x plus 1, x plus 4. The number line will have the zeros of all three factors. Negative x plus 2 has a zero at x equal to 2. The expression is negative to the right and positive to the left of its 0. x plus 1 has a 0 at negative 1. The expression x plus 1 is positive to the right of its 0 and negative to the left. And x plus 4 has a 0 at negative 4. The expression is positive to the right of negative 4 and negative to the left. The quotient that is the expression on the left of our inequality is a fraction that has positive divided by negative divided by a negative. That's a positive quantity in the interval negative infinity to negative 4. Positive divided by negative divided by 0 is undefined when x is equal to negative 4. Positive divided by negative divided by positive is a negative between negative 4 and negative 1. Positive divided by a 0 divided by a positive is undefined. Remember that we cannot divide by quantities that are equal to 0. Positive divided by a positive divided by a positive is a positive in the interval negative 1 to 2. 
0 divided by a positive divided by a positive is a 0 when x is equal to 2. Negative divided by a positive divided by a positive is a negative in the interval from 2 to infinity. From the sign table we are now ready to answer the question. The inequality less than or equal to 0 means negative or 0. From our sign table negative is between negative 4 and negative 1 but not at negative 4 or at negative 1 and from 2 to infinity including the value at 2 that makes it equal to 0. Our solution in interval notation is the interval from negative 4 to negative 1 open at both ends union from 2 to infinity closed at 2. Our graph will be the areas of the number line between negative 4 and negative 1 and from 2 to infinity so we will shade these areas we will have open circles at negative 4 and negative 1 and a closed circle at 2.